Hi guys, it's Amber. Let me turn this down. I just came on to do a quick ish, hopefully, rant video. Um, uh, I've been pretty open with you guys about Katie and her cerebral palsy diagnosis, and you know, in videos where she's been walking, you can tell how she walks, and um, that's something that's probably never gonna change it's probably she's probably always gonna have um trouble hopefully it'll get better but i mean at least she's able to walk and uh so she i don't know if i told you guys but she's been doing or if she told you um ballet and she loves it we went and saw the nutcracker around christmas time and she met the ballerinas and she was wanting to do uh, be a ballerina so we signed her up for ballet and um the teacher is great with her they just you know adapt things if she can't do something they adapt it to something she can do and um it's awesome so my mom took her yesterday to ballet um the baby was down for her nap and so um my mom took her for me, and she, they were actually able, they had the windows and curtains open, normally you can't see in, um, you just, oops, oops, uh oh baby down, she's alright, <laughs> sorry guys, she was eating and then, what's wrong, oh, um, so normally you can't, this shirt's hard to nurse in here, bub, you sleepy, yeah, you didn't sleep good last night, Okay, so normally you can't see in, um, and they don't let you in except for the first day of the month, like the first day of your session. So, um, her on Wednesday, so it would be the first Wednesday of the month. We just switched from Monday, so that's why I had to stop and think about it. But she got bumped up to the older kids because the teacher, um, was kind of worried that the, it was like five and six year olds, and this is like six and seven year olds. Um, so the five and six year olds were just a little bit, four, five, and six, I think it's, I know it's six, seven, eight or something like that. Um, but the younger group, they were just a little bit more rambunctious and kind of running into her. And so, um, the teacher called me and was just like, I just want to let you know, like, I'm not sure if Katie feels a hundred percent comfortable, um, they are a little bit more rambunctious and they tend to run into her and I can I notice that, that makes her feel uncomfortable. This group is um like a little bit more mature and they don't do that. They're a little bit more controlled. So I think this would be a good fit for her. And so we changed her we went and took her to our first class last Wednesday and just let her try it out. All the kids are taller than her. Um but it's super cute. So, uh, anyways, my mom took her yesterday. So this is just her second time, and they actually had the window open and the curtains drawn so you could see in. So my mom took some videos of her just doing, like they were at the bar, and they were just doing little feet work and like lifting their leg or something, lifting their knee, and I don't remember what else they were doing. I think they were working on their positions or something. Um, and so my mom had posted that on her Facebook page. Sorry, this is three minutes just to get up to my complaint. Um, one of her friends commented and was just, the comment was, how cute, exclamation point. She must be walking normally now, question mark. Like, what the fuck? Um... I was pissed. I was just like, you, so you have to be normal to be able to participate and do these kind of things out in the world? That's how our society is? No. So, my response was, oh, what did I write? She'll never be typical. And that's okay. That's what makes her her. Um... And it's a good thing we live in a society where typical or, quote, normal children, you don't have to be typical or, quote, normal to participate in events. And just left it at that. And I was just like, <laughs> I sent my mom a message. I'm like, I was as nice as I could be in my response to her, but I'm mad. 
And, um, yeah, so my mom wrote on there, and I think she said that wasn't a very nice response. She, I don't remember what else she wrote, but it was just like, that wasn't very nice. And, um, you know, I'm sure she probably didn't mean for it to be, but it's just like, so she's walking normal now so she can participate in these things? No, she'll probably never walk normal, but thankfully she's walking. Thankfully she's able to participate in these kind of things. She's able to do swimming. She's able to do gymnastics. She's able to do ballet. She's able to do whatever the hell she wants. It may have to be adapted, yeah, but she's able to get out there and do it. And the fact that she... All right. The fact that she just wants to do it and wants to try, that should be applauded because... She had to fight so darn hard to be here and everything she went through from her birthday to now she's still in the hospital I mean it's a long freaking time that she had to fight and grow and <sighs> deal with hospital and you know everything she went through she fought and she made it and she is happy and healthy and just because she has this little disability doesn't mean she can't do whatever the heck she wants to do. And it just makes me so mad that there are, like my husband said, arrogant people. Out of your mouth. Oh, that just think that you have to be perfect to be able to do these kind of things. Sorry. Maybe found paper. Probably on a tag. Um, so anyways, that is my... Hi, can you say hi? Can you say hi this morning? Hi this morning. Hi this morning. That is my little... Um... <coughs> this shirt is hard for me to get my boob out in. You're going to have to... <laughs> Do you think it's just ready for nap time? <laughs> I know. <coughs> I know it. It's hard for me to get it out. It's hard. <laughs> so that's just my little, um, oh, <laughs> my little, uh, what did I call it? Rant this morning. This isn't happening. This shirt is so tight. <sighs> they had a little, um, mobile command station and police officers at Katie's school this morning, like coffee with cops, I think is what they called it. Yeah, that's all she wanted. Make me go through that trouble just for that little bit. Yeah. And Baba. Wow. And Baba. Um, so we went and, um, which looked somewhat decent this morning. But it was fine. So, anyways, yes, that's just my little rant. Let's try and change the world for the better. You know, people with all kinds of disabilities are out there doing great things. They're getting beyond. Oh, you got the paper again. You stinker. Out. Out, out, out. Um, what society tells them they can't do. So let's just keep that change going, guys. And they're just everybody. They're all people. Was that all of it? Oh, no, thank you. You have it. Oh, thank you. <sighs> and so we all just need to be treated that way. It's all equal, all people. And that's my two cents for the day. All right, you guys. We will talk to you later. Can you give them some Cheerios? Thanks. <laughs> Bye, guys.